Hey guys, Guy T600 here. Uh, a little tired, so please excuse my. Uh, I've had a huge break off YouTube, I know, because of my camera problems, but please excuse me, uh, my tiredness, because I have been to a uh, zoo called West Midland Safari Park. Um, if you haven't gone there and you live around about the area I do, screw this stupid little thing, uh, you should go there. Uh, the gift shops are always good. It's a zoo, by the way. I had a very nice time. It's been really sunny in Wales so far, so really good. Um, gift shops are always good in zoos, I've noticed. Uh, I always pick up loads of stuff, and I saw this in the zoo. For some reason, they were doing dinosaur stuff. Don't know, maybe it was because I had the dinosaur theme game, which I played, and it was awesome. It was called Dino Dig, and I actually won. I found the dino egg before everyone else. Wasn't that cool? But, you know, I, I want to be a paleontologist. I don't really, but, you know. Uh, this is, sorry, but this is the West Midland Safari Park Dinosaur in a Barrel for one ninety nine. One ninety nine. Was it worth one ninety nine? We'll have to wait and see. It's a blind barrel with a dinosaur inside it. Sounds like there's going to be some assembly required. Am I bothered? Not really. Uh, before we actually get this guy opened up, this is a really nice container for a blind uh, bag figure, would you say? Blind figure. Let's just take that off there. I'm very bad at taking these guys off, but very nice. You can see all like the wood trying to keep these from coming apart. You can see the top bottom there. Uh, so yeah, I haven't looked in this guy by the way. Oh, I'm I'm so tired. Sorry, uh, I haven't looked in this guy by the way. I've also got a headache because that was not. But anyways, I haven't got a um, I haven't opened this guy by the way. So uh, I don't know which ones are available. Uh, from the ones I could see. On, like, they had the cardboard box, and there was, like, three of these guys left, and I picked up one, so now it's only two left. But, you know, uh, I saw, um, oh, what did I see? Think. I know my head's hurting, but think. Um, on the sign, I saw a Triceratops, which is given. That's the normal here before they use. Nothing wrong with that. Like, and also they used the T-Rex, a picture, so I'm guessing those two. They always use those two, uh, I noticed, for, like, figures. Alright, we've got the little container opened up. Alright, let's see what we got. I'm hoping it's like some sort of... Oh, oh, we got... Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, so there is some assembly. We have the head. See if you can guess what uh, what this is. Yeah, so there is some assembly required. you got the back legs. Oh, these guys are not that hard to put in, which is... This, which is good. I don't want to be here. As soon as I said that, these guys are gonna start playing up, aren't they? I don't want to be here struggling with for you guys. There's nothing else in here. I'll tell you why I thought there was something else in there now. But come on. And there we go. And we have got a. Oh, oh, cool. We got a very nice looking Stratosaurus. He actually looks pretty nice as well. The colouring on him, the nice grey on it, uh, very nice. Let me just move my chair a little bit more forward here. The nice, uh, nice colouring on him though. You can actually open his jaw, which is nice. I shall do the articulation in a second, but let's just have a look at his face real quick. His face looks really cool. I'll give him that. Uh, just put the, put the barrel over there. Yeah. Good little barrel. Very nice face on this guy. As I said, his jaw can open. It's whatever preference you want. This guy's definitely posing up uh, on my top of shelves of many different figures and things. I'm hoping my room's going to be get done out soon. Very nice, though. Very nice. Oh crap! Tail. Stay on there. Uh, his head looks really nice. His body. There's a nice sculpt on it as well, even from the barn. Even on the uh, feet, the foot, on the foots, on the feet, I guess you would say, um, look really nice. So very cool. Got two side horns. I don't know whether those two side horns would actually be there. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know why a dinosaur would be in a barrel. I guess I couldn't think of anything else. Maybe a dino egg would have made no sense. These guys remind me of those dragons that come with eggs. That's why I said a dino egg. I know they were more clear and you could see what they were, but you could just make it a white egg, couldn't you? Just saying, just saying. This guy looks like a really like demon version of a Stratosaurus. I quite like it. His tail. 
I'll just get the articulation out. I, like, the way, reason I said, is there anything else left in there? It's because these two pegs, I know if they used the dragon body or something, he's clearly the guys who made the dragon, the dragon toys, I think, at least, but um, that you could peg wins onto there, because I used to love those toys, by the way. Uh, you could peg wins onto there. doesn't look like it with this figure. Um, obviously, I don't want to peg in stuff with a strack source, but don't know why they added that on anyway, so I could have just easily taken that off. But let's have a look at the articulation. Uh, by the way, the colouring on this guy is really nice as well. Really impressed by this, actually. I thought this was going to be a cheap pile of crap, but I, I'm starting to think that I should have picked up more. God damn it, I should have picked up all three that was there. God damn it. Uh, but anyways, we have a nice jaw articulation. If I see any more of these guys, I'm going to pick them up. A nice ball joint in the head. Especially because I used to love collecting the dragons, and now there's dinosaur forms of them. Uh, how can you go wrong? Um, I suppose you got ball joints there um, in the legs. And then you got a even a ball joint on the tail. So all of this is ball joints, and you can really get some nice poses out of this guy. So, with the inclusion of a very nicely, uh, not over the top, but very nicely sculpted barrel, and a really nicely sculpted and painted, and fully articulated, if you think by a Stracosaurus, how can you really go wrong with this thing? I, I mean, it's pretty cool. I would like to see if they had, like, an Allosaurus. That would have been kind of cool, but, you know. If I see more of these guys, I'll definitely pick them up, and, um... Definitely pick these guys up if you're dinosaur fans or fans of the dragon fins. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next review will probably be, hopefully be, the Dinotrodon from uh, Papo. Can't wait to review that guy. Been like, keep my eye on that guy for ages. Seeing the Dinotrodons are actually quite unique dinosaurs if you think about it. But are they actually dinosaurs? I don't know. If you guys would like to use the comments down below, please tell me that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Very nice figures, and I, I say you can pick if you can pick them up. If you're a dinosaur fan, or you know someone who's a dinosaur fan, pick these guys. This guy up for looks—they're quite cheap as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Wow.